from the 20 minute mark in the first term. Burke switches direction. Oh, awkward for Darcy. In trouble, but he drew a couple of opponents and found Denham. And now he finds some space out of wing. Couch. Lead by Ablett. Absolutely beautiful. We've got a 45 minute kick by Couch from the wing, and Ablett within scoring range. 50 metres out. Looks great. It's there. And he's kicked three in the opening 20 minutes. There's three goals to Gary Ablett, looking very dangerous. But Geelong found a lot of space out there on the outer wing. Ended up with uh, Paul Couch. No pressure on uh, Couch at all. And a perfect pass to uh, Gary Ablett. Craig Lambert off the ground. What's wrong with him, Dixie? Is this going to air? Did anybody hear that? We didn't. Half, half forward it is for the Cats again. Good play. Well, David Palm clipped across the year. Michael Pickering, good play. Onto the left foot. Centre of the ground is Damien Burke. Looking very good today. Out wide to Hocking. Oh, he'll probably look for Ablett again. There's Ablett ducking back. He's got it. Oh, clever play. Very good football, Ablett. Too good for Michael Thompson. His use of the body there was magnificent. Yes, I think uh, Kevin Bartlett, Bartlett will have to make a change. Hey, this could be the day that we and John Devine have been waiting for. He could get 15. But if he keeps playing like this, Drew, the way, and every attack is being directed through him, so he's a big chance to kick a huge total today, Gary Ablett. And I think that Kevin Bartlett will have to make a move shortly. There's the kick from Ablett. He's kicked it. His fourth goal of the court. Well, and that's the difference between the two sides at the moment. Richmond have not converted when they've had the ball down in the forward line. And Geelong, six goals in the opening quarter. And the change has been made. Barlow, Paul Barlow has been moved on to Gary Ablett. And uh, four goals was probably enough. Gee, what a job that is for a first gamer, just yep. 19 years of age, Paul Barlow on Ablett. It's throwing a young bloke to the Lions, Bernie. Back in the middle, Burke thrashing Lee. Goes through Russell, Denham off his shins, Bauer a good hand pass, back to Palm. Up to half forward he goes with his kick, but it holds up in the breeze, almost blew back into his forehead, and the ball out of bounds, centre wing. I feel sorry for young uh, Paul Barlow, he'd be a very nervous boy at the moment. Abbott, a huge rep reputation, already kicked four, his confidence high. But here's Burke against Honeybun, Burke doing well. Towards half forward, it's Palm. Oh, taken away beautifully by Hocking. Over to Bairstow. Where's Ablett? Bairstow. Oh, Ablett at the back. He ducks back. Oh, nearly took it. Young Barlow did well to put him under pressure. And Mark Lee forces the truth from behind. But, gee, I thought Ablett had his name written all over it. Tremendous first quarter by Geelong. 6-5-41 to Richmond. 1-6-12 before in excess of 27,000 fans at the MCG. We'll take a break. Back with more action from the cricket ground after these messages. Australian family holiday. Even better with a family car you can rely on. Nissan Pintara. Pintara easily completed the Nissan 600,000K Endura and it's backed by Nissan's two-year warranty, which makes Nissan Pintara the ideal four-cylinder Australian family car. That's what my dad says, Mr Thompson. That's right, mate. Nissan, building the right cars for Australia. At NEC, we believe a PABX is more than just a switchboard that you buy off the shelf. We believe it should fit your company like a well-fitting suit. So when you buy a PABX direct from NEC, we will tailor it to the exact needs of your business, as only the manufacturer can. How's the new PABX? Perfect. It'll suit us down to the ground. Great. That way, you won't end Morning. up with a PABX Hi, that doesn't properly fit your needs. <laughs> if only your company had spoken to NEC first. Need to fly interstate on business? Welcome aboard flight 227. We hope you enjoy flying with us this afternoon. Put it on diners. If you need a locksmith, do what I do. Use the Melbourne Big. It's much faster. Hmm? 
the Melbourne Big, the buying guide Melbourne into turning to. This is your moment. This is the moment you've been working for. Tuesday night, a very special episode of Beyond 2000 rushed straight from World Expo 88 in Brisbane. You'll see all the highlights of this bicentennial event right in your own living room. Discover how technology will affect the way we'll spend our leisure time in the year 2000 and beyond. This fascinating exploration through World Expo 88 is a Beyond 2000 exclusive your whole family must see. Proudly presented by AMP, 8.30 Tuesday night on 7. Well, just how good is Gary Ablett? Geelong leading by 29 points at the first change and we're going to rejoin the match now in the second quarter and we pick up play with 17 minutes left to go before half time. The Cats still leading but by 22 points. Well, Geelong at ground level. Burke at centre half back. Out to Bruns. Michael Pickering giving chase. Bruns has time to steady. Great kick to half forward. Ablett. Oh, beautiful kick by Bruns. And that is into the breeze. And Ablett also into the breeze, or across the breeze probably from there. And he'll be kicking from just 45 metres out. Lining up for his fifth. Sensational kick. Hey, Gary Ablett's having a day out here. Five goals through to Gary Ablett. And really he's a difference between the two sides. Hogs kicked five behinds for Richmond. And they weren't really difficult shots. Here's a shot from Ablett, a magnificent kick for goal. The umpire did not have to move. It looked as though he hadn't aimed all that far left, but he just kicked through it so hard, the breeze didn't have a chance to grab it. Well, he is a great kick of a football. There's the bounce, 4-9, plays 9-7. Richmond have been doing all the attacking. That Geelong go down there once and get a goal. There's Denham. Now it's Egan. He's under enormous pressure. Scott was there. Denham. Good play by the Cats. They really worked hard there. Bruns, a high floater, the half forward. Oh, what's going to happen here? A bit of a push out by turn, and the umpire let it go. Yates to drum. This will be over the top to Ablett. This is goal number six coming up. Here it is. Good play. Unfortunately, there for the Tigers, they got a bit lost at centre half back when the ball came down there. It was a mix up between two players. Neither of them were sure who should have went for the mark. Across the top to Drum, over the top, and over the top again to Ablett. And that's Ablett's sixth goal. Uh, Dixie Marshall's on the boundary. What have you got for us? Drew, Graham Landy, who we saw go down earlier, has been taken to hospital for a precaution. His neck's still in a brace, but he's moving everything and is conscious. So it may be not as bad as it looks. Oh, that's excellent news. Burke out of the centre. And Denham takes the mark. Out to Ablett, leading again. Oh, he's dropped one. Still a chance, though. Fights hard at ground level. Drums there. It spills out to Scott, who hits the post. Well, Gar Gary Ablett just took that one a little bit too easily. He did everything right. Perfect lead, perfect position. Magnificent pass. And just took it a little bit easily in the... Uh, in the end. Barlow towards Egan. A mark to Philip Egan. Gee, he's trying hard, Egan. He's really putting in for his side, as he always does. Six kicks and three handballs to Philip Egan. To centre wing, Troy couldn't take it. Bruns is there. He's having an excellent season, Neville Bruns. In fact, Bruns has had nine kicks so far, and a bit of an altercation going on right in front of us. Darren Troy and Tony Free, only a young player. I wouldn't mix with uh, Darren Troy too, too often. He can really mix it. He's a tough boy. But uh, Richmond have played a lot better in this quarter, and yet Geelong have been able to take it down there and score a couple of easy goals. But young Barlow, a big job on Ablett. James Pickering, who's been Richmond's best player. Good attempt by Hogg. Couldn't quite take it, but he butters up. 
almost took it away again, but uh, the umpire will come in and bounce it. Yes, once again, we see Geelong outscoring Richmond, even though they're kicking into the breeze this quarter. They lead by 35 points, having led by 29 at quarter time. Just past the halfway mark of the, of the quarter. Oh, Burke wins a 30-metre slap up the ground towards the wing. Russell, beautiful, runs with his 10th kick to Turner. Ablett charges at it. Hand passes to himself and is grabbed when he didn't have the ball. Umpire right on the spot. And this could be number seven for Gary Ablett. Very clever play, play there by Gary Ablett. He knew he was under extreme pressure. Kicking from 48. Oh, sensational kicking by Ablett. That's Gary Ablett's seventh goal, four in the first quarter and three in this quarter so far. There's still nine and a half minutes to go. And he's an excellent kick for goal. He seems to kick so much better when he relaxes, Peter. Just goes back and really lets it go. He's a free kick again. He knew that he was being pressured by Paul Barlow. Put the handball out in front of him. He was then tackled and got the free kick. Burke. There's Hocking to Couch. As I said, a big job for young Barlow at full back. It's at half forward for Geelong. The ball loose. Dwayne Russell. Oh, he's got it. 40 metres out. It's a high one. Damien Drum ducks back. Can he get there? Oh, the ball sits for him. Oh, clever play by Drum. Over the top. Turner. Oh, he can't get his feet the ball. Excellent play. And that was Brendan Bauer putting the tackle on it. What looked like a certain goal was saved by Brendan Bauer. Very slow though, Michael Turner, in getting his boot to that one. Thompson, good tackle by Drum. Drum after it again. Brilliant football. Could set up a goal here for the catch. He might even get it himself. Yeah. It's a Geelong free kick. Very high tackle. And Sean Denham will kick for goal. Umpire having a word to Mark Eustace. Crunch, in he goes. Oh, ooh, that one would have hurt. She. Well, I think the elbow did come up after the actual contact. <laughs> well, for a while it looked as though Richmond uh, might uh, slap on about three or four goals in a row. They managed only 2-1, and since then Geelong have done all the scoring. And this is for a 48-point lead. It's there. This is special country. And these days, it's easy to get to in vehicles like these. Nissan Navara 4x2 and 4x4. Navara drove all over Australia in the Nissan 600,000K Enduro and proved it can handle anything this country can dish out. Don't forget to give it some hay, Jack. <laughs> Nissan, building the right trucks for Australia. Send your love in a bottle to wish you were there. Send your thanks in a bottle to show in a bottle to anywhere in Australia with Interliquid. Send your wishes in a bottle, a memory to share. Send your congrats in a bottle and save with flair. Contact Interliquid at your Liquorland store or phone 008 252 008 and... Send your message in a bottle. Order at Liquorland or phone 008 252 008. Everything's high technology. Doesn't matter what aircraft it is. Our job's to keep them flying. The 
Eon FM breakfast show. Everybody's talking about it. In Ireland, the blackberry picking is a serious thing. Not half as serious as the courting, though. And wouldn't it amaze you the way the young people manage that sometimes? And to be sure, there's always the babies. Sure, it's as Irish as falling in love. Thursday night, poor old Brabage and cops the lot. Ravenger, you will shortly be joining the ranks of the unemployed. On to the manor born. Then, Ronnie Barker makes life a nightmare for the prison officers. Any questions? Yeah, I've got a question, sir. Uh, is the ball and chain worn outside the Wellingtons or tucked in the sock? And what are this bunch of layabouts doing in church? Where's Ives? Oh, uh, he's outside to desecrate an holy ground. How do you mean? <laughs> he's having a slash in the churchyard. To the manor born and porridge, Thursday. Into time on in the second quarter, but still four and a half minutes remaining. There's another kick floating out of bounds on the full. And this time it'll be Michael Mitchell with the free kick. Well, Mark Lee had one a couple of minutes ago and kicked it straight back out of bounds on the full. And Mitchell has got it into play. That's Mark Regan. What a mark. That's a sensational mark for Philip Regan. Jumped over the taller blokes who were bustling in the goal square. Here it is again. Leon Schultz going for it. And timed perfectly by Philip Egan. He's only about uh, eight or ten metres from goal, but a pretty difficult angle. He's kicked it. Well, the mark deserved the goal. Well, he's really trying hard today, Philip Egan. That's his second goal. And Richmond have only kicked five for the afternoon so far. 5-10, their kicking has been very poor towards goal, especially Hogg, five behinds. On that occasion, Philip Egan really followed through and showed how you should kick for goal. Five ten plays 12-9. Now, the Cats, normally when Richmond have kicked the goal, the Cats have taken it straight down there and got one themselves. That was bare stuff. Oh, good use of the body by Scott. The tackle was on Palm. Thompson hooks it out wide to Mitchell. Mitchell to half forward. Was it a mark to James? He took his eye off it. He was a bit lucky to get that one. Umpire paid it, though. Under the right foot goes James towards half forward. Damien Burke's name written all over. Could have marked it, but punched it instead. Straight to Couch. Couch to half forward. Scott waited over the back, but it was just touched by Honeybun. Allowed his teammate in Palm to take it. A hand pass over the top. Here's James. Oh, tackle. He dropped it. And the umpire would be Paul Lack. Yes, holding the ball. A good tackle by Robert Scott. Originally, the umpire said play on, but when Scott went in to get him again, it was the second one that won the free kick. Kick by Scott to half forward. Turner climbing high. And the mark paid. Michael Turner, welcome back. A very short-lived retirement for the former sc cat skipper. In the direction of Ablett. Oh, how do you like that? Too good. Well, great use of the, usage of the body by Gary Ablett. Positioned his body in between the full-back and the ball. And great skills to pull that in one-handed. Well, he's going to have eight before half-time. This is right in front, 20 metres from goal. And time left to get more. Well, that's four in the first quarter and four in the second quarter to Gary Ablett. But he has had plenty of space on that forward line. Beautiful use of the body to get in between himself and uh, young Barlow. Hasn't Kevin Bartlett crucified Barlow a bit? Well, it's putting a young kid, is it his first game? His yep. first game and putting him to full back, he's going to learn very, very quickly playing on a player of Ablett's class, particularly if he's not a natural full-back. There he is, he's trying hard. 5'10", plays 13'9". I wonder how long he'll keep him there. Uh, Thompson had four kick on him, now Barlow's had four. There's Russell out of the centre. I wonder how many Gary Ablett's going to kick. It's obviously going to be double figures, I would think. Thompson, he was out of bounds. I don't think the ball was. Yes, it was, said the boundary umpire. 
And Thompson, not happy, shoved it into the band umpire's chest. <laughs> I don't think he'd be too impressed. And it's on half forward flank. For Geelong, we might see a huge tally today from Ablett. This could be very exciting. There's the ball loose. Christensen kicks a goal. Is it another one? I think it is. Yes, the goal of the catch. Paul Geelong at the MCG in the first half, and in fact, Gary Ablett had eight goals to that stage. 49 to 511 at the main change. We'll take a break. Back with more action from the cricket ground after this. Australians love their beer. Foster's. Flavour with a big capital F. There's nothing like it, is there? That's true. Australia loves the Foster's. And you know the world goes too. There's nothing like a Foster's. There's nothing like a Foster's. There's nothing like a Foster's. That's true. This is special country and these days it's easy to get to in vehicles like these Nissan Navara 4x2 and 4x4 Navara drove all over Australia in the Nissan 600,000k Enduro and proved it can handle anything this country can dish out don't forget to give it some hay Jack <laughs> Nissan building the right trucks for Australia this Mother's Day Serve your mum the perfect gift and more from NEC. You could win a holiday for two at the Port Douglas Sheraton Mirage Resort, flying Australian Airlines, or one of 50 Corningware French white sets when you buy a microwave oven from the NEC range, with the latest in technology for speed and versatility. So put your mum on a pedestal with the perfect gift from NEC. Available from these leading retail stores. Send your love. For Mother's Day, order Interliquor at Liquorland or phone 008 252 008. Do it now, 008 252 008. Welcome to the Resi Statewide Property Report. I'm Des Connors. And I'm Alex Wildman. You don't have to be rich to invest in property with Resi Statewide. Many people are buying investment properties like these for security and for the tax advantages oh. of negative gearing. Thank you, attention, ladies and gentlemen. Did you shop around for your loan? My word, we checked out all the banks. And Resi Statewide? Yes, their investment loan was best because of the interest rate. They lent up to 90% evaluation, so we didn't have to find a big deposit. Alex, is that a common theme among property investors? Yes, that's what people are finding out. When you can borrow up to 90% of valuation, you can start investing sooner with a smaller deposit. You don't have to be rich to invest in property with Resi Statewide. A tall order for the Tigers to come back, trailing by 52 points against Geelong at half-time. Let's go back to the cricket ground now, and their commentators led by Drew Morford. Troy. Stocky build, but he covers the ground pretty quickly. Beautiful pass to half-forward, or just past Russell it went. Palm's doing better on Ablett than anybody else, but this comes to Ablett, fortunately. Off to Turner, open goal. Powell to Trent Nichols. Pool, oh! Tackled by Darren Troy. Admittedly, Ablett gave away one. There's Trevor Poole. He's really picked up his game. Oh, shocking pass. It's great to Bruns. Bruns from 30 metres out into the open goal. It should be another one to the Cats, and it is. Too many mistakes, Richmond. Bruns taps on. Drum. Great hand pass to Scott. Just outside 50. Good distance. What a kick. Turner. Got a grab to Michael Turner, running with the ball. Kept his eyes on it. Right until it fell into his hands. And a great grab. He's kicked two, Michael Turner. And this is a sitter for number three. Good distance with a kick. Egan. Oh, spoiled by Hocking to Bruns. Back to Darcy. And he can go for a gallop. Neville Bruns knocking up, getting the ball. The pass for Turner. He's bowled over and will get the free. Well, Michael's kicked two in this quarter, going for a hat-trick. He's become the focal point more than Ablett. Turner for goal. 42 metres out. Great kick. 
No movement from the goal umpire. Four for the day, three this quarter. Because at the moment they're a mile behind. There's Cowtour. Here they go again. Bearstow to Russell. Oh, look at that. Beautiful pass. That was from Bearstow. Russell was tempted to give it back to him. Dwayne Russell now playing it full forward. Former South Australian. Signed with Collingwood at one stage. And they let it lapse. There's the kick. A nice looking drop punt. That is a beautiful kick. And there's another one to the Cats. Yes, Russell, a late inclusion into the side. Kicks his first. Troy has been a tremendous player again after a great game against Melbourne last week. Bearstow has been magnificent. Short pass to Ablett. He'll mark. Right out in front. And a very nice kick. Gary Ablett, well, we felt he'd been taken from the ground because he was very disappointing, but there's the reason. The hamstring. There's Ablett going for goal number nine. Goal up by doesn't move, and it's through for another one. Cowtour, loose men everywhere. Gives it to Bearstow. Bearstow. Further afield to Troy. That was a bad hand pass because Troy was actually covered. There's oh. another bad hand pass. He was covered again. So both those... Oh, he's hurt himself too. I hope that's just cramp. Oh, he's in pain. I hope that's not a knee injury. He's kicked two goals, one. Well, that was a desperation move by Kevin Bartlett when he put him at full forward. There's a good mark. Jeff Hogg has kicked one. One goal today and seven behinds. One out of bounds. It's a good mark. Darcy... And he have had a terrific duel. There's Jeff Hogg. Oh, don't tell me he's missed another one. It's close. It's just in for a goal. Burke couldn't get a fist of that one. Egan for Richmond. His hand passed too quick. Scott out to Bairstow. Right in front, 40 metres out. And he's kicked it. And then wide over the wing. Oh, good mark taken by Free. Uh, Michael Pickering. Nichols on the 50. He's got Mitchell going past. Come on, kick one, son. But nobody on you. And he has. Another well, belated goal by the Tigers. Darcy out wide. Bruns has been terrific again. Having an outstanding year, Neville Bruns. This guy, I think his performance today has been excellent. That's Chris Martin Christensen. He has worn... Dale Waitman like a glove and taking him right out of the game. There's Ablett. He's kicked nine for the game. Robert Scott, Ablett, chance for goal number ten. He stabs. Yes, there it is. Double figures to Gary Ablett. Well, good performance by Gary Ablett. Ten goals. Well, thanks for that little sign. Got him all tricked. And Gary Ablett, certainly the star of the day at the MCG. He finished up with ten goals in Geelong's 79-point victory. Turner got four and two each to Denham and Russell. And for Richmond, Hogg got four, Egan three, and Pickering two. We'll take a break. We'll check the ladder, reports, and footy bet in just a moment. The new 1.8 Nissan XR. Is it a Targa? Is it a Coupe? Or is it a cabrio? Absolutely. The new 1.8 Nissan XR. It's out of the ordinary and out of sight. Nissan Malau, building the right cars for Australia. Look, I've got to tell you, I'm lost. Ralph. Mm-hmm. Look at this for you. Electricity, water rates, the dentist. Ralph, we're both working. We've got the money. So where is it? The phone bill. I thought you were going to pay that out of your check account. Well, there's no money left in it. Well, use the other one. I can't touch that for about another month. But it's your money, Ralph. Yes, but then the interest yeah, won't but it's still your money. When the State Bank launched the state banking system, it put 400,000 Victorians back in control of their money with a high interest account that can even have overdraft. OK. Well, let's pull some out of your interest-bearing deposit. If you're still out of control, come and see us. You've got to wait 90 days for that one. So what were you saying about your money? The state banking system. We never forget. It's your money. 
They've arrived. Australia's biggest supply of NEC car phones, and they're all at Pocket Phone. For an incredible $2,990 full price, with hands-free operation, antenna, and installation included. Now everyone can save time, make money in business, and never be out of touch. Save hundreds of dollars on the NEC car phone only while stocks last for an unbelievable $2,990 from Pocket Phone. Now everyone can afford a car phone. Now for about the cost of four days, you can rent any budget car up to a Commodore for seven days. That's only $2.99 for the week. Because this month, we've stretched the long weekend rate to last the whole week long. Send your love in a bottle to wish you were there. Send your thanks in a bottle to show that you care. Send your message in a bottle to anywhere in Australia with Interliquor. Send your wishes in a bottle, a memory to share. your liquor land store or phone 008 252 008 and send your message in a bottle order at liquor land or phone 008 252 008